Hi Sears Fit Studio peeps, how's it going? Um, today we're talking about something that hits very close to home for this girl. Um, and if you've been reading my blog or maybe you start reading my blog, you'll see that I'm focusing on this theme, if you will, of having body pride, having pride in your body, regardless of where you are in your fitness journey. If you're just starting and you haven't lost any weight, if you maybe are in the middle of your fitness journey and you've lost 10 pounds and you've got five to go, if you've lost 50 and you've got five to go or 10 to go, I don't care where you are, but it is so important. And I have realized this personally so much, in particular, I'd say the past three or four months because I'm somebody that has been so hard on myself and so caught up in comparing myself to whether it was somebody I saw in a fitness magazine, on a website, another blogger, somebody that I know personally, and, and getting completely obsessed in comparing myself with that person, what size they were, um, how much weight they've lost in X amount of time compared to me. And when you do that and you find yourself, number one, looking at other people that have a totally different body, age, metabolism, and you don't know what they're doing to get the results. But when you're constantly comparing yourself to other people, and especially when you're comparing yourself to some airbrushed, photoshopped models, either online or in magazines, you're putting a goal out there that is so unattainable for yourself because your body is unique, your metabolism is unique, your lifestyle is unique. You cannot put yourself in the same category and timeline as anybody else. And furthermore, this is coming from very much personal experience. The more that I got into this mindset of looking at my body every day and saying, I'm not this size. I don't look like that person. I can't wear those those shorts yet because I haven't reached my goal. You're constantly starting and finishing every day with negativity. You're constantly scolding yourself. And something to remember that is such a simple concept when you want to treat your body in a kind way and encourage yourself is think about if your best friend, your daughter, or your sister, or your mom wanted to lose weight and you wanted to encourage them. Think about how you would talk to them. Would you say, like say it's your mom, would you say to your mom, mom, hello, look, you don't look like Halle Berry. What's going on with you? She wouldn't do that. She wouldn't eat that. No, you wouldn't ever try to encourage somebody by berating them, by comparing them to unrealistic images and by being negative to them every day. And I've been doing this and not only comparing myself to unrealistic images and expectations, but I'd also just been so negative to myself. When you are that negative to yourself every day and not encouraging yourself and taking pride in what you already have, your body is an amazing tool and it's capable of greater things than you can possibly ever imagine. You've got to focus every day on encouraging yourself and on appreciating what you have right now right here, right now, okay? It doesn't matter if you haven't reached your goal, but you've got to get in the, the habit of getting up every day and encouraging yourself, motivating yourself, and not looking at anybody else, but just getting excited and finding a way to have that inner dialogue with yourself where you're sharing positivity with yourself, if that makes any sense. Because when you don't, when you obsess about things that are unrealistic, when you talk negatively about your body, you're constantly waking up with, I failed. I can't do this, every day is bad, I'm still, I haven't lost five more pounds, and all you're thinking about is what you haven't done. Instead of looking at what you have done, start looking at what you have done. Like, hey, for the first time in, in several years, last week, I worked out three times. Um, I've never done that, and I made time, I did it. Um, and last week, for the first time, I, I didn't go and have nothing but fast food over the weekend. I actually cooked at home. Start, you know, giving yourself pats on the back for the good things that you're doing. And furthermore, when you look in the mirror, stop tearing yourself apart. Look in the mirror and say, pick three things every day. If that's the minimum, pick three things about yourself that you love. You know, I might not like, and I'm not even going to say it because I'm being positive. There's certain parts of my body that I can't wait to change, right? But I like to get up and say, hey, you know what? I love my arms. I have amazing calves and I've got a really strong core and I have amazing uh, cardio capacity because of all the hard work I've been doing. Start giving yourself positive messages. Give yourself a hug because it might sound cheesy to you, but let me tell you, it will make a difference in your attitude and your attitude 
will make a huge difference in your progress. I cannot say it enough. Trust me, ask any of my friends. I'm coming from a place of bad attitude, comparing myself to others, and now I'm changing that to a good attitude, encouraging myself and appreciating myself along the way. It is making a world of difference. Do the same thing for yourself, and I promise, I promise you, everything in the future is gonna change for you, I promise. I dare you, try it, three things a day. Be nice to yourself.